My name is Natalie Kelly. I'm 27 years old from Namurka, Victoria, which is in the middle of nowhere pretty much. <laughs> I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was about um, yeah, 11, 12 years old. Yeah, I was sitting at home. I, I'd lost my job. I'd lost my independence. I couldn't walk outside. I couldn't shower. I couldn't do anything without, yeah, someone being there. So when you think of a condition that can affect someone who's otherwise completely well in that way, it's a terrible disease and it's very common. So at least 1% of the population has chronic epilepsy. 5% of the population at least will have a seizure during their life. It's the commonest neurological condition after stroke. Yeah, I'd lost everything, you know. I was lucky that I had my husband who was supportive, but it's still, you know, you're seeing everyone else that had everything and, you know, all your friends who had you know, ba who could have babies and everything and yeah, you couldn't have anything. You had to just sit at home and watch TV all day. It was a Monday that I had the eight seizures and then the next day I woke up and I had another two and I, I rang my neurologist and just said, look, you have to do something. One problem with the drugs is you have to swallow them, they get absorbed and pass through your liver and at all these steps you lose some of the drug so eventually only a very tiny amount gets to the brain. As well your whole body is getting the drug and your whole body might not like the drug and that's what causes side effects often. So getting the drug directly to where the problem is is obviously ideal. Now that's hard to do because your brain's inside your skull and so it means we've got to make a hole in your skull to do that and so uh, we have a system where the drugs delivered into the fluid deep within the brain so that it, it covers the whole brain then and is delivered to the areas that seizures are actually coming from hopefully without creating the side effects in the rest of the body. So far, the trial's gone really well, so we're really pleased. It's had a very dramatic effect on, on Natalie, the patient who's had it put in, and dramatically changed her seizures, so she's enormously better. Now, you know, it's not smooth sailing with trials because we've still got a lot to learn. No one's ever given these drugs in this way, so we're still trying to fine tune the best doses and the best way to give it, but so far it's going really well. This was someone who we've actually had in hospital for nearly a couple of months prior to this procedure because she was so disabled by very frequent seizures, it wasn't possible for her to go out and live an independent life, and she's otherwise a perfectly well young woman who wants to have a family, who wants to go out and join a family, herself, and, and, and do all the normal sorts of day-to-day -day stuff that she can't. But uh, now she can. Life sort of returned to normal for her. That's really satisfying. I mean, there's nothing better you can do for someone than change their life like that. I don't think I could thank Mark and everyone enough for, you know, giving me that opportunity, even though, you know, it was scary to be the first person not knowing what would happen. Yeah, I couldn't thank them enough. I just, you know, I, yeah, I couldn't thank them enough. So the only thing that's stopping us do more of this and doing what we're doing faster are resources. And at the moment, we just don't have the money that we need to do the sort of work we'd like to be doing. So it is slow. You know, in neurology, um, a lot of conditions we can't treat. And epilepsy is an awful condition, and, and as I mentioned, it can, it can limit people's lives. There's nothing more satisfying than being able to fix that. You know, there, there's nothing more dramatic you ever get to do in clinical medicine. It is just spectacular. But it's important to recognise that that's come through research. It's not come through them being able to get access to conventional stuff. It's new things that we've been working on and that we work on all the time to make people's lives better.